Let's go to an art kaupapa now. He ringa toi a whakaaria a Christy Theobald. He kiko rangi ona karu, he uru kehu ona makoe, e ruetakau ona tau. Nonga iwi maha ona takiaho whakapapa. No inga rangi tōna papa, he Māori, he airani tōna mama, me te aha, mai, 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 kua tū kari kari hia e ia, ngā whakatau a te ao e pāna ki te rahi o te toto e tāi ai e koe te ki, he Māori koe. Ai rā nei, me rahi tonu te toto e rere ana i o i o toto e ki ai koe he Māori. Nā te kaha remu rere o Christy ki tēnei take kōrero, kua mahi ai ia i āna mahi katoa ki te toto. And just a word of warning, if you have a fear of blood or needles, look away now. E hia te rai o te toto o Māori, e tai ai te ki e Māori koe. Koe rā te pātai nui a Christy Theobald. Koe tango ia e hia o nga ake toto, E hanga mai toi ki te aki aki ngā wakaro te iwi wānui e pāna ki tēnei take. As someone of both Māori and Pākehā descent who is fair-skinned and blue-eyed, I have a constant conversation and almost struggle in my day-to-day conversations with people, whether Māori or Pākehā, about what it means to be Māori. It's a conversation about how much, how much Māori are you? Are you legitimately Māori? Are you just a Pākehā with whakapapa? what constitutes what it means to be Māori and who gets to decide. Tūturu e mai a wānau tēnei. E kai reu tōna pāpā, a e kai ako hitori o mua tōna māma. Ko tā Don e tango mai te toto, a ko tā Jeanette he tākoa i tōna toto, e wakauti i te mai toi a Christy. How did you both manage to get coaxed into the situation? Well, I guess the uh, the problem started with us producing Christie in the first place, and we've been reeled in slowly over the last twenty year odd years. That's true. I think it really was one of those phone calls when I was calling them up, and I was just talking about my work, and I said, "Hey, what do you think about this? Is this artist who's done something similar?" And it was a massive political statement. Would you mind if I used your heads? And she came up with this uh, particular idea. It was still very much just an idea, uh, like the other ones that had gone before until it gradually firmed up to the point where we found that we were driving down to Palmston North for the, uh, for the evening to get covered in latex. No tōna ki te ngā tuatai i ngā mai a Mark Quinn, kua taia e ia ona ake a wanga wanga te waka puaki ki te ao mārama, mā roto mai i āna mai toi. Incredibly famous piece of work that stirred a lot of controversy when it was first created and he creates one every five years of his own head and he fills it with 4.5 litres of his own blood. Because you can't see it, obviously, till you pull him out. So there's occasionally deformities. E toru ngā upoko kua waka tauira ia e Christy. Ko ngā upoko o ona mātua me tōna ke upoko. Ko te rai o te toto kei roto i ngā upoko e rua. E rite ki te rai o te toto Māori kei roto i aia me tōna māma. Ko tāpiri ia te toto ki te wai me te tote. E o tikari pakaitia tau o tikanga e ona ua akomanga ki te ware wānanga i te papa i oia. E tau i rā nō rātau ki te toio o ki a piti. Some students were reticent to, I guess, touch the, um, the heads um, or to make contact with any of the material that was associated with the process of making it. It is kind of almost a reprehensible act for some students. The idea that I obviously just hadn't engaged with issues around tikanga and that I wouldn't know because I'm not Māori enough to know that sort of thing and I don't have access to those resources, whereas I'd spoken to people and gathered their opinions and their thoughts and spoken to Komatua and there were conversations going on really all over the country by the time I'd actually created the work. What it does point out is that some students have a very strong cultural background you know, and are very much aware of the, the ramifications of um, using human um, or body parts, in, in this case using blood. E o te kai māngere pea ngē i wauatu o te akomanga, te waka mātai tau nui. Kei konei kei te ware toi o ngā tōu o uenuku, ka ki te atu mena rā e kaupapa wai ua tēnei. Christie's installation is controversial, obviously because the, the tapu nature of the uh, blood, but in other ways it's the political aspect of it is talking about percentages of of racial mix and that's a very controversial subject. 
There's such a huge Māori and Pacific Islands population here in South Auckland. What sort of reactions are you expecting from this community? I'm really not sure. I know that um, blood is tapu in all cultures of the Pacific. And I'm just really hoping that all the karakia will be correct and that we won't have any issues on that. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. We've had a bit of a transformation yeah. with the, the heads. What it, happened? I think we should just call it a transformative artwork. It's just a glitch with the freezing system again, um, which is completely unanticipated. Yeah. But I've come to terms with it and it kind of sits alongside the video, so it's all right. It freaks me out a bit. I she could have used food colouring, but it doesn't have the same impact. We freaked out a little bit with the knowing it had blood and things. Oh, I totally love that bit about it. She took her own blood, and to me, that's life. I felt uncomfortable viewing it at first, but now I'm more comfortable, and I see her point of view, and I, I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely awesome now. My baby's going to be blonde haired probably, and blue-eyed, but the papa is still going to be Māori. Ko heikararoa te maunga, ko waikawaiti te awa, ko takitumu te waka, ko ngaitahu te iwi, ko ngati huirapa te hapu, ko motoitoi te tipuna, Ko te raki, te marae, ko te tērā mahi a Christy, i te taha o ngā mahi a o na hoa, taino atu ki te rua te kaumārua o paenga whawha. Nā, ko ngā mātanga toi nei e whakātū ana i warātau mahi i te whare toi o Māngere e kia nei ko ngā tohu o Uenuku, he tauira i puta ake i te whakākoranga toi taketake tuatahi o te ao i whakamānu tia rā i te tau ko tahimano i warau iwa te kau mā rima.